Hey, Street. Here comes your best friend. Oh, that's funny. Somebody's got to talk to him. Low man on the totem pole, that would be you. Good afternoon, Gerald. Oh, hey. How you doing today? All right, just uh, came to have a second look. Yeah. Can I ask you something, Gerald? Yeah. What's the problem? Exactly. Sorry? Why don't you let yourself have this car? Well, what do you mean? What is it, really? Is it that you think if you buy this car, you're gonna find another car you like better elsewhere immediately after buying it? Or, or is it that you just think you don't deserve the car? You don't know me. No, Gerald, please, I'm not insulting you, so please don't take it like that, okay? I'm just trying to understand you. Because all these salespeople around here, take a look at them. They sent me over here because they've given up on you. All right, they sent me, wheelchair guy, rookie, low man on the totem pole, to talk to you because none of them believe that you could pull a trigger on actually purchasing a vehicle. But let me tell you something. I know you love this car. You love this car so much you come in two days a week, two days a week to just look at it, and then you walk out. Gerald, life's too short, man. Life is too short. Okay? Things change in an instant. Take it from me. Okay? So be a man. Take control of your life. Be a man. Buy this car. Show all these people that they're wrong, that you can make a decision. I'm gonna really think about it. No. No more thinking, Gerald. No more thinking. No more dithering. No more wasting everybody's time, especially your own. Because that's what you're doing. You're wasting your time every time you come in here. Buy this car. Because you love it, and because you want this car, and you want to drive off this lot in this car today. Buy it. Okay. Okay. Mr. Garrity. Yes, sir. All right, Gerald over here would like to uh, go ahead and start paperwork on purchasing this, uh, this hybrid here. Yes, I would. Congratulations, Gerald. Congratulations. <laughs>